Hey everyone, it's Troy at Annihilator Air Guns and Tuning. Wanted to go over real quick. This is a Puncher Mega. So this is the rifle version. Bullpup version is going to be very similar, but what I'm going to show you real quick is how to install a lane regulator in your crawl rifle. First thing you'll do is take the action out of the stock. There's a single screw on the bottom of the stock to remove that. Then of course you'll remove the barrel. I've got it partially taken apart just for timing purposes. You'll loosen the two grub screws, remove the barrel, you'll unscrew the end of the filler cap, and then take the two set screws that run along the bottom of the barrel band, slide everything off, that way you've got something to grip onto. You will need to then remove the air gauge like I said, I've already loosened everything up for ease. So you're going to remove the air gauge. On the bottom of the action are two additional grub screws. So what you're going to do is you're going to loosen these two grub screws. And what that will do for you is actually release the tube itself. Your valve is made into end cap for your air reservoir. This is where your gauge would screw in. These are where the two grub screws hold that in. And the valve itself is all part of the tube cap. This is a burst disc, so if you were to overfill the tube, that burst disc uh, to help prevent injury. So this is the very first place that air comes out of the valve, the beginning of the transfer port. So you can see down in there valve opening up on the hammer strike. So what we'll do we can unscrew this cap real quick with one hand. Sit you down for just a second. All right. So we're going to unscrew the valve from the end of the air reservoir. the air reservoir over here and take a look at our valve itself so what we have here in the valve this is the o-ring that normally seals the cap and prevents air from the reservoir from being able to escape what we're actually going to be doing is removing that o-ring and that allows the regulator to breathe inside the regulator itself you have a spring that's inside of the regulator that opens and closes the seat inside here to stop airflow once the pressure on the regulated side reaches the set point. A little bit of air will escape and get inside of this thus locking up your regulator unless it can breathe and that's what you have here. This is your breathe hole. This breathe hole has to be able to let the trapped air from inside the regulator out to the atmosphere. So this regulator actually has a seal on the bottom. That seal is going to seal directly to the depinger cap. This cap is to help deping the gun and it also holds the valve stem and spring. So to make sure that the gun doesn't leak, Your valve stem itself is going to seal the air from the very bottom, so air can't escape. Okay. Your O-ring on your regulator is going to make sure air can't get around the regulator. It's going to force it through the hole 
into the body of the regulator. The O-ring here prevents any air from getting around the deep hinger cap, forces the air down through that hole and into the valve. And to prevent the air from coming back up the threads and around, what we have is a Delrin bushing with an O-ring on each end. So once it's placed inside of the valve, okay, it's going to seal on the flat and it's going to seal on the bottom of the deep hinger cap. Okay. You also, since you're running on lower pressure to help prevent hammer bounce, you want to stiffen up this spring. A longer spring or a spacer that is provided with the regulator is what you'll need. And this is going to fit perfectly inside the deep hinger cap. So now we'll take our valve. We'll give it to stand up. We're going to take our spring, place the spring. And now with the spacer and the deep hinger cap, going to add just a little more tension itself to that spring. Screw that cap back on. So you'll take a wrench, replace the flats in a vise, and just tighten that back down. Okay, I'll go through and tighten everything down in a little bit, but just so you see everything. Then we're going to remove the o-ring that will allow the air that gets trapped inside the valve body to escape travel down through the threads and back out to atmosphere so now the air in the reservoir itself on this end is forced through the hole because of this o-ring through the body of the regulator this o-ring keeps it inside the deep hinger cap, which the flat of the deep hinger cap and the flat of the valve itself have the Delrin spacer with the two O-rings to prevent leaks. And then your valve stem itself keeps the air inside the valve from leaking out. So when you remove this O-ring, uh, you don't really have to worry about the gun leaking down. You'll get a normal little bit of air and you're talking about very, very microscopic amounts of air just to where um, it vents out from the regulator body itself. But once you get all that done, you'll just simply reassemble the rifle and uh, you'll be ready to, to fill back up with pressure and ready to shoot. Now on the lane regulators itself, you have these individual lines that are cut into the top of the valves. These represent a five bar increment in pressure. So if you order your regulator at a certain pressure and you find out that pressure doesn't work with what you want, it will be marked with a red dot and a red line. And you know that that's the set pressure. From there, you can adjust it higher or lower five bars at a time. I had this regulator brought in at 2000 PSI setting, which would be this red dot at this red line. The tune I'm doing on this gun is going to be a 20 foot-pound and 22. So uh, after shooting the rifle without regulation, I found out I can achieve that on about 1500 PSI. So I'm going to drop the regulator down to 1500 PSI, reinstall, and then uh, start playing with the hammer spring to get my pressure where I want it and the speed where I want it. But uh, that is the uh, installation of the lane regulator and the crawl rifles. Uh, not a very difficult task. Um, again, you're just going to remove that O-ring, 
the remainder of the O-rings and the spacers throughout the system. Keep the air from the air reservoir to the valve stem, uh, allowing your gun to hold pressure. So thank you guys and uh, good luck.